I say I started playing basketball when I was five. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I was just a little kid, my mom brought me a little kitty hoop. Mm -hmm. And when I came home, I just played on it all day. And that I've had people in my life that probably discouraged me and told me that I couldn't amount to anything or play the game that I, that I love to play. And so I just had people Honestly, what they said, it, it just hurt me. Like, it almost got me to quit the game. What's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, and my name is Jimmy. And today, I'm with Steven. Hi, guys. I'm Steven. Like you said, um, I'm from Valencia, California. I am attending Grand Canyon University, majoring in Christian Studies. And I'm an athlete, and I play basketball. And, yeah. So, today's video... We're going to talk about Steven's journey. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about my journey with basketball and my faith in Christ. Um, Alright, Steven. Um, how was your journey with, uh, in basketball look like when you started? So, I said I started playing basketball when I was five. Um, I remember when I was just a little kid, my mom brought me a little kitty hoop. And when I came home, I just played on it all day. And mom would call me in for lunch. I never went in, I was always outside hooping. So, called me in for dinner, still outside hooping. But I remember it's just a huge part of my life. And like, I played many leagues, I played leagues when I was little and then I went into club organizations like club ball, mm -hmm. uh, AAU, and up to high school and, and yeah. So, so Steven, um, since you said like you had the people around you that say you're not gonna make it, you know, you're not a good player, you're not gonna be able to play in clubs and organizations, how did God help you to believe in yourself that I'm going to make it? How did God help you to, um, to how did you have the faith that God has something in you? God is preparing something in you that uh, you can be able to achieve, you can be able to play for clubs and then organization. How did that happen? So, growing up, I was growing up in a Christian family. However, it wasn't so much that I put all my faith and trust in Him. And so, with what I went through is what led me to Christ. And during that phase, I was just so involved. I met a lot of new people, a lot of godly people. And it just feels like God just puts things in your life. Yeah. that you never knew you needed, but it turns out you needed. Yeah. And like, I turned my back on God for so long, and yet He still put His hand on me. Yeah. He still was guiding me. He still was loving. And during that time span of what I dealt with, He gave me so much loving people. He gave me trainers yeah. that were strong believers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they just helped me, they just fulfilled me with so much wisdom, yeah. so much loving. It just helped me get into the position I am today. And, you know, along with that, it just really inspired me to be like the go up and just encourage more people, especially athletes yeah. who want to achieve the same goals that I do or even greater. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's amazing. You see that God. Help, um, help us a lot in so many ways and then we see God has helped you bring uh, people who had faith, who had the same goals like you and then you didn't give up because God has something for you, God has great plans with your life because you, did, you didn't quit, you didn't even like let, uh, look down on yourself, you continue believing in God and also you see um, because of what you've gone through, God has placed some right people in your life 
that they care about you, that they love you, and they are there to support you. They are there for you to support you to uh, achieve your goals, to achieve your dreams. And like you said, there's so many people uh, in this life they want to uh, do the same thing. They want to, they have the same dreams like you to play basketball, but maybe they have so many challenges like that. They've seen people uh, saying negative things to them that they can't make it. You know what I mean? It's not either. Like, it can just be only basketball, it can be like some other sports or uh, whatever you're good at, you know. You you see a lot of people saying so many things that no, you can't make it, stuff like that. But if you believe in God, but if you have faith in yourself, you have faith in God, you know that you can do it, you can be able to achieve your dreams. You just need to work hard and also find the right people that they can help you to overcome, um, to be a better person each and every day, you know what I mean? But I really kind of like the way you said, it's kind of great because we see that we face so, so many challenges in our everyday life, but we see how God helped us, how God works in us, how God brings lots of people in our everyday lives to help us to be better each and every day. Yeah. All right, Stephen. Uh, so, what kind of challenges did you face in your journey while you started playing basketball? I would say a couple of challenges are you got to make sacrifices, like you had to take care of yourself, take care of your body. Yeah. There was a time where I just ate the wrong things. Just I was in bad shape and I just after that I learned I need to take care of myself and work hard and keep going and just eat the right things and work out. And yeah. And so another challenge I would say is that I've had people in my life that probably discouraged me told me that I couldn't amount to anything or play the game that I, that I love to play. And so I just had people, and honestly what they said, is it just hurt me. And like it almost got me to quit the game. And yeah. So, Stephen, how is your relationship with God right now? My relationship with God is strong right now. I'm a strong believer and I just love him so much as he loves me. Going back, I see everything that I went through and how it's gotten me here. That just shows how much he loves me. And now like every trial I go through, every obstacle that's in my path, I just go directly to him and look for answers. And just look to become better and each and every day. I look to improve myself and become best person I can be, or in his words, his own image for us, yes. because we're all, all of us on this earth are perfect, we just got to keep building and building to keep, to get there, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree with you, because there's the only way that we can find answers is just like praying to God, asking God for help in each and every day. We face a lot of challenges, like so many temptations in, uh, in this life, but if we believe in God, if we live if we open our heart, let God in, God is going to help us to overcome those obstacles because God is good and then God, He make a way for us each and every day. He find our battles even we don't see it, but God is always there for us. No matter how much we struggle, He's, He's there to support us. He's there to, to be with us. You know, in every, in every situation, He's right there with us. Even people, they may walk away from us, they may say negative things to us, but God, he will never leave us. God, he will never walk away from you. You know what I mean? Because God is good. He's loving, he's caring, he's supporting. So he just wanna be there for you so that you know that he's there with you no matter how much you struggle. So. Yeah, and connect with them during the good and the bad. And whatever bad's going on, that is just the perfect opportunity to just go directly to him. And there's no better feeling than that in the world. Yeah. So it's whether by prayer, whether by scripture, reading, whether by praising Him, it's just ways to connect. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways you can praise God. Reading Bible should every day, joining small groups with other people, going to church, worship Him, you know, because He's a good God. You know, each and every day he's giving us life. You know, it's not you don't take it th things like that for granted because you know other people they're in the hospital uh, seeking uh, the same life that you have. But you are special because God has 
has created you in his image and then he's still taking care for you there's a reason why god is still keeping us alive right there's something that god is preparing for us so we just need to be thankful and also to praise him for what god is doing in each and every day in our everyday life Stephen, how can you encourage the other athletes that they're playing basketball right now and then also how you can encourage the young Christian that they're trying to build their faith, they're trying to build their relationship with God right now? So as far as athletes goes, keep pushing no matter the circumstances go. Because as we discussed earlier, there are going to be things or people that are going to try to mess that up for you. Yeah, we're talking about a lot of negative things about shit that may discourage you to stop playing. And so what I say is keep going, keep pushing, and excel. And don't set your sights to small things. Set your sights higher. And keep going. Look for greater things. Look for greater things. And as far as Christian, young Christians go, pray. Pray. That is the most powerful thing that you could do and learn to connect with them. Just keep trying to connect. God sees all. God sees all. He knows all. Yeah. And so just keep trying. And though if you don't when you pray, though if it doesn't come out the way it is, mm -hmm. just keep doing it. God is moving at all times. Mm -hmm. yeah. As you pray, the seed is planted. And it's up to you to make it grow. Yes. But that's only right. by prayer and scripture reading and worship. Right. It's up to us to make it grow until God delivers. And He will deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So never give up on your dreams. Continue praying. Build your relationship with God each and every day. Find right people that they can help you to be a better person. Find the people that they will. Uh, connect you with the Christ, with the people who will be able to support you. So just believe in yourself um, that you can be able to make it no matter how many challenges you can face in your journey, no matter how many obstacles you face. Just believe that God is there for you and God is supportive and then He will never leave you alone. He will, ne he will, let, he will never let you suffer for uh, something that you can go from now on. So just believe that God is there for you even if you're struggling even if you're going through a lot of challenges thank you guys for watching we really appreciate and please don't forget to subscribe if you guys like this video subscribe comment support the video support my man jimmy he's the man and yeah thank you guys for watching we really appreciate and then like we said thank you like the video and comment thank you so much